As a journalist, you're used to writing about events after they've already happened. You conduct interviews, do research, and work really long hours to connect the dots. But as an outsider, it's very rare that you get a chance to become part of a story, to see it unravel before your eyes. And sometimes, what you find makes it all worth it and changes your life forever. Here's my story about how I met Elroy and the aliens. A hamster? I waited 18 years, and you bring me a hamster? Uh, it wasn't easy to catch, boss. Oh, very well. Prepare test subject Alpha. Preparing test subject Alpha. Dear. Hundreds will gather in Slope City Park tonight to observe our first total lunar eclipse in 11 years. The Blood Moon gets its name from the reddish glow cast onto the moon by the sunlight refracted in Earth's atmosphere. This phenomenon has haunted many civilizations and was often believed to signal malevolence, ill fortune, or major change. Rats! I overslept! Again. Oh, that's probably the reporter from Slope City News. I'm coming! I should get the door. It's locked. Oh, now where did I put my keys? My apartment key. Just a sec! Hi, I'm Peggy Wolf from Slope City News. Elroy DeLuna? Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, come on in. Thanks for coming here on a Sunday. No problem. I wanted to get my article in before we go to print tomorrow. Shall we get started? Sure. Can you tell me a little bit about your project? I'm building a rocket. A rocket? Yes. The first commercial rocket that can take off, reach the atmosphere, and return to land in the same spot. Oh, cool. You mentioned you had a prototype? Yeah, I just need to make some uh, last minute adjustments. It'll only take a minute. Would you mind waiting here? Sure. Uh, please, make yourself at home. Shoot. This is my one chance to let the world know about the DDL-3000. I wanted to finish it last night, but obviously fell asleep. I'd better hurry upstairs and get it ready. Ah, the broom I borrowed from Mrs. Kandinsky. It's a remote control, so I can launch the rocket from a safe distance. The Legend of the Hani Pentagon by Diego de Luna, my dad. Step one, install the propulsion module. Step two, attach the guidance module. Step three, fuel up the rocket. Step four, profit. The Slope City Chronicle. Peggy Wolf writes for them. The propulsion module. Fuel goes in, blazing speed comes out. My good old Vax mainframe. I had to pawn the screen and keyboard so I could afford the rocket fuel. Eh, 
I'll buy them back as soon as I get my funding. Me and my dad, a long time ago. Ooh, cozy. My engineering diploma. Best in class of 91. Best rocket fuel you can get at least in Slope City. Whoops, the spout fell off. I'll have to reattach it. Aha, the spout that fell off the fuel canister. The guidance module for my rocket. I get 55 channels, including the science program, engineering 24-7, and NASA TV. The magnification on this thing is incredible. If I was a creep, I could spy on pretty much anyone from up here. A glorified fuel tank. Fits perfectly. Nice, the DDL-3000 fully assembled. All it needs now is some fuel. There, now I can fill up the rocket without spilling my precious fuel. My pride and joy, ready for action. Miss Wolf, hello, it's ready. I'm coming. May I present the DDL 3000? It's, wow, it's very yellow. Wait till you see her fly. Before we start, can I ask you a few questions? Sure. So. Your full name is Elroy de Luna, right? Yeah. Son of Diego de Luna, the famous archaeologist? Yeah. Author of The Legend of the Hani Pentagon? Yeah. He spent a lot of time on that book. Dr. de Luna went missing in 1975, right? Yeah, well, he went on an expedition and never came back. Is it true that he was working with Mayor Wanderbust at the time? I think he was, yeah. I was five years old, you know? Wasn't your dad looking for the Hani Pentagon? Yeah, he talked about it all the time. But what if he actually found it? <sighs> I don't know. I, I haven't really thought about that in a long time. Hey, do, do you want to see my project or not? Sorry. Yeah, please, go ahead. Let me just use the remote so I can start the launch. Okay. Everything is ready. Follow me. We need to take cover. For the love of... Was that it? No. The circuit board got fried for some reason. Oh. Should I come back later? No, no, no. Just give me 10 minutes and I'll get a new one. All right. Do you mind if I check out the telescope in the meantime? Is that a Telefire D2? D3, actually. I just got it last week. Go ahead. Awesome. Thanks. I should hurry to Sierra's junkyard to get a new circuit board. <sighs> I really hope she's there. Huh. There's that strange sound again. I think it's coming from the ceiling. I'll check it out after I've shown the reporter the DDL-3000. I've been hearing this for the last couple of days. I think it's coming from the ceiling. It's probably just interference or something. Mm -hmm. 
Step one, install propulsion module. Step two, install guidance module. Step three, fuel up and launch. An old graystone I tried to fix up. Turned out it was useless, so I stripped it for spare parts. Too bad. Could have really used some help around here. I'll need to get a real bed one of these days. These are absolutely yummy. I lost 15 pounds after switching to a Wonder Shake only diet. They're talking about the lunar eclipse. Tonight is the night. Morning, Elroy. What are you doing up so early? A reporter from Slope City News is doing an interview with me. Oh, that girl who was poking around here before. Yeah. I'm getting interviewed for the Slope City Chronicle. Reporters these days, they're getting younger and younger. Is it about that rocket of yours? Yeah, I'm trying to get the word out so I have a better chance of getting some funding. That's exciting. So, why are you out here chatting with me instead of in there doing your interview? To be honest, I'm kind of nervous. Remember what happened last time? Don't dwell on the past, kid. Just forget about that old hag's house. A little explosion never hurt anyone. <laughs> Only because Mrs. Simmons wasn't home that evening. I quit yammering. Look at me. I could have been Mrs. Mayor now. And do you see me complaining? Didn't you say you'd quit smoking? The prices they charge for cigarettes today. I'm never buying another pack again. Just finishing my duty-free stash from the old airline days. I have just 73 cartons left. Then I'm done for sure. What happened between you and the mayor anyway? What happened? We were in love is what happened. Until that... Zarya girl showed up. My Cyril couldn't take his eyes off her. There was nothing I could do to make him stay. But, you know me, I survived, like always. I've got my cats and my health. <laughs> Gotta go. Bye. Yeah, yeah. The hair salon is closed today. They still owe me a free haircut after I fixed their helmet dryer last week. Filled to the brim with pizza boxes and takeout cartons. At least I managed to get rid of them all before Peggy arrived. What's a gate without a proper pulley? Sierra! Are you there? Darn it. She must be coding again. In the zone, she calls it. Ah, guess I'll have to figure out how to open this myself. An old truck tire. Pretty heavy. It says, busy coding, do not disturb. Sorry, Sierra, this is an emergency. Pulling this opens the gate, but it needs to be unlocked first. I don't understand why Sierra can't change this to a simple lock. What's a gate without a proper pulley?
There, a pendulum with a truck tire, ready for action. I don't know why Sierra doesn't just install a simple gate. I'm sure Sierra won't mind if I, um, borrow this. A bucket always comes in handy. Fake Armandi bags. The police sometimes sees fakes, but I have no idea how they end up here. It looks like it's overheating, and the gas is running a little low. These cars have been here for decades. Sierra emptied the gas tanks a long time ago. Sierra Jones, one of my best friends. Also, the best coder I know. Sierra, do you mind if I borrow this hose for a bit? Uh-huh. I guess that means it's fine. We used to siphon gas from cars using this hose. Sierra's rig is state of the art. The radio is playing Mayor Wanderbrust's speech on repeat. Mayor Wonderbrust has categorically denied claims by an anonymous citizen about strange sightings in and around Wonderbrust Tower. This is ridiculous. Anyone can come here and claim to see dead people. She can not be serious. There is nothing extraordinary going on in Wonderbrust Tower. The mayor has declined our invitation to host tonight's Blood Moon Festival in Slope City Park, claiming that, quote, important mayoral business is preventing him from partaking in public events at this time. In other news, Slope City's own Theater of Dreams is working on a new play written by mysterious author Cirilio and directed by none other than Hubert Cumberstone. One Last Time is set to be on schedule to premiere next week. Tickets can be pre-ordered at tonight's Blood Moon Festival or at your local vendor. <laughs> Jeez, what now? Oh, hey, it's you. What's up, Elroy? I was knocking. Duh. You know I'm totally oblivious to the world when I'm coding. A quite an elaborate lock you've got there. Pretty cool, right? Keeps all the half-wits out. Glad to learn I'm not one of those. Oh, wow. <laughs> ha ha. Very funny. Good job understanding how clocks work. So, what can I do for you? You know the rocket I've been working on? You mean that we've been working on? If I remember correctly, I wrote the firmware for it. All right, no need to nitpick, but yeah. Well, the FR-128 circuit board is fried. What do you mean fried? Did you set the CMOS jumper exactly the way I told you? Um, CMOS jumper? Jeez. Man, you're supposed to be the hardware guy. I was wondering if you had a replacement. I only have an FR-512. It'll work just as well, but using that much memory is total overkill for what you're trying to do. Not to mention a huge waste of money. I promise I'll take good care of it, and I'll set the DDoS jumper. CMOS jumper. Don't screw it up this time. All right, all right, got it. Thanks, Sierra. The things I do for my friends. What are you working on? I'm coding the engine for my next space game. It's gonna have super smooth scrolling and render dozens of enemies at the same time. You mean kind of like blobs from outer space? Do not mention that game to me again. It was a great game. Until the publisher screwed me over and stole my code. The new game's gonna be so much better. 
Just not sure what I'm gonna call it yet. Any ideas for a name? Hmm. There. <laughs> That's funny. Later. Here we go. Whoops, almost forgot again. Seamoss jumper set and ready to go. There. Oh look, a bird. It seems to really like your rocket. All right, everything's ready for launch. Oh no, 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 the bird might get hurt. We need to find a way to make it leave first. Shoo, shoo. See, it won't listen. Let me try. Shoo. Hmm. What about the chimney? Maybe we could light a fire? And smoke it out? Yeah, but gently? Uh, I guess we can try. Ah, there. Paper will catch fire faster than a log. Marie Curie is a hero of mine. She pioneered research on radioactivity. Hi again, Mrs. Kandinsky. How's it going, Elroy? Could I borrow your matches for a while? You mean, like you borrowed my broom? I haven't seen it in months. All right, sorry. I'll get it back to you soon, I promise. You better. Here, you can keep them. I have plenty. Thanks. Poor guy. Sorry, little fella. Science comes first. Wanderbrust Tower. I think my dad used to work with the current mayor. All set. The bird is gone and we can start the show. Awesome. Let's do it. My pride and joy. Ready for action. There. I think we're ready, Miss Wolf. Remember, the launch is the easy part. What's really impressive is the landing. We should get to safety. Follow me. Preparing for launch. Five, four, three, 
Are you okay? That was quite a landing. Ha <laughs> ha, very funny. Something must have gone wrong with the controls. I saw some kind of electrical discharge. Maybe that had something to do with it? <sighs> I'd better go check the damage. Brace yourself, it's not pretty. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's ruined. Nine months, and all my savings. I'll never get funding now. Sorry about your roof, and your rocket. Maybe you can still save part of it? <sighs> I need to go up and check. Oh, man. Oh gosh, I hope it still works. Uh, let me try and pull it out. Let's see. Oh my. It's completely destroyed. Months of hard work for nothing. glowing up there in that crack in the ceiling. Do you have anything long enough to reach it? Holy cow, what a mess. But hey, what's that glowing thing up there? Is that what's been making the noise? Whoa, what is it? A radio or something? Someone must have hidden it a long time ago. Nobody did any fixing up there since my dad disappeared until now. Hey, look! There's some kind of button in the middle. Something's happening. Holy cow. Is that who I think it is? Wait, is this thing on? Sayak. All right. Let's do this. Dad! Hello, son. You must be wondering where I am. I have no idea how long this message will take to get to you. Or how long it's been for you. Eighteen years. I don't think he can hear you. I'm losing all sense of time here. You remember the story about the Hani Pentagon I used to tell you at bedtime? It turns out, it's all true. I knew it. There's a whole new world out here, son. My business partner, Cyril Wonderbrus, trapped me here. What? He took something back with him. Something dangerous. I need you to get help and come find me. You'll need the gate crystal. If I know Cyril as well as I think, he'll keep it close. Once you have the crystal, find the Honey Pentagon. Check my book for clues. I love you, son. I never wanted this to happen, but I'm stuck here. And you're my only hope. Oh my god. Do you realize what this means? All these years, everyone's been saying the Hani Pentagon is just a legend. I 
have to tell my boss. This is gonna be the story of the decade. Dad? He's... alive? Yeah, and we are going to find him. <laughs>